Hey guys, it's Whips here, back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at the top 10 rarest clothing pieces inside of Sea of Thieves, but real quick here, 91% of you guys are not subscribed, I just want to mention that because we are very close to 2k subs and hitting that would mean the world, but without further ado, let's get right into the video. Kicking us off at our number 10 spot, we're actually going to be looking at the Sapphire Blade Dress. Now a lot of you are probably like, why this? Well the reason for this, you actually have to unlock this inside of week 166, which makes this absolutely insane now a lot of you are probably like well why isn't it the boots well obviously this just came last so basically how the insider program works is you slowly gain rewards this is the furthest one away making it the hardest to get and i think it's a pretty good spot here at our number 10 spot now into our number nine spot, I do just want to clarify, everything going forward here, you can no longer get within the game unless they come back. So obviously the dress, you can grind for this, you can still get it. Everything else, you can no longer get unless it comes back in a Twitch drop. Speaking of Twitch drops, in our number nine spot, we actually have the Gilded Phoenix set. Now this is super cool. All this is going to be rare just because it all came out at the same time, early April 2021. So obviously this was two years ago. So if you have this, congratulations. A lot of people don't. Something I definitely wish I would have had. I think a lot of people overshadowed this because they just wanted the Obsidian set and didn't really this would be rare and now you kind of pay the price like me so yeah very solid spot here at our number nine spot at our number eight spot i want to paint a picture inside your guys's head imagine a brand new update just dropped inside of sea of thieves it brought fishing and tall tales this update is great well guess what for about a week inside of the general clothing store you guys can purchase the golden sailor hat which is going to be our number eight spot unfortunately probably nobody did this this was an extremely rare item because nobody knew about it and you could only buy it for a limited time which makes this item extremely rare if you have this congratulations this is probably one of the best purchases you have i honestly didn't even know about this until a while ago and a lot of people do not know about this so the golden sailor hat extremely rare here at our number eight spot at our number seven spot, we're actually going to be looking into the Black Dog Pack. Now, in terms of actually picking out a specific item, these all came with the DLC. So they're all rare, and they all came at the same time. Obviously, like I said, though, the DLC of Sea of Thieves, this is going to make this extremely rare. Online, this roughly sells for about $1,000, which is crazy. If you have the set, congratulations. And this is obviously a very solid spot here at our number seven spot. At our number six spot, this is basically the same thing as our number seven spot, but this is going to be the Ferryman clothes. Basically, all these are the same because they all came with the same pack, meaning the controller pack. Now, the main thing here is, the reason why I have this above everything is right now, currently, it is going for just a little bit more, probably about 1200 online, but these honestly, this and the black dog, they kind of like to go back and forth. So as the time of this recording, it's a little bit more rare, but who knows in the future, it could change a little bit. At our number 5 spot, we're actually going to be looking into the Day 1 eye patch. I'm sure a lot of you know about this. Basically, when the game first came out, you just had to purchase this from the clothing shop within like the first week or two. Now, the main thing with this is just a lot of people didn't know about it. It's kind of like the Golden Sailor hat. Rare doesn't really tell people about these, so you just kind of have to find them. A lot of them are super cheap, too. Like the Golden Sailor cannons, those are only like 199 coins. I'm not sure exactly on these. Could have been 1, could have been 200. Either way, very, very cheap for the game, and I think a very solid spot here at our number 5 spot. At our number four spot, we're actually going to be looking into the hat of unfeasibly glorious fame. Now, I know a lot of you who probably don't use Twitter are like, what are you talking about? Well, basically, Sea of Thieves, they like to run a little community challenge where they'll pick a topic. So let's say the topic is lava. Well, more than likely, I'm going to go to the roar and I'm going to post up with the Ashen Curse. If I have the best picture out of however many people submit, then I'm going to win this hat. So obviously, this is super time limited, not time limited, but just limited overall because you have to literally win the challenge. So basically, with my guess, I'd probably say anywhere from 150 to 200 people have this because they do like to run it every couple weeks and obviously there can be more within a week it, it really just depends when they want to do this but a very very challenging task here and very very limited Moving forward with the list, this is where it gets extremely rare and limited. At our number three spot, we have the Golden M eye patch. Now, I know a lot of you are like, oh, I have that. I'm not talking about the red eye patch. I'm talking about the Golden M. Basically, what this signifies is you have the day one eye patch, so you played day one, and you also played day 1000. Now, how many people were playing the game in 2018, two years later, 2020, and now to this day, 2023? That is very, very rare and probably super low. So if you have this, wow. Um, the red one, is definitely rare but not as rare as any of the items on this list basically you just had to play day 1000 so if you have this golden mi patch congratulations a very rare and exclusive item within the game 
At our number two spot, very much like the hat of unfeasibly glorious fame, you unlock these in the same way, except for these are the glorious fame gloves. Now these were only given out to 20 people, but not originally. So basically the store behind these was Sea of Thieves. They wanted to make a limited time event of these pictures. So they wanted to give out one of one gloves. And basically they picked 20 contestants who had the best, obviously hundreds of people submitted photos, but the top 20. Well, the problem was a hacker actually got in and started releasing codes of these gloves and rare, they had to take action deleted them out of everybody's account and gave them to all 20 participants so one of one item was obviously spread to 20 participants making this extremely rare i wish i had these these are super cool definitely probably some of the best gloves in the game rarity wise but yeah very very solid spot here at our number two spot and finally, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, our number one spot. These are obviously going to be the banana set. Now, I don't really need to tell the story about this because everybody probably knows by now, but if you don't, listen up. So basically, way back in the day, Rare, they wanted to make another time-limited event, go figure. And basically, they did a real-life and in-game challenge. And basically... Whoever would find the golden bananas, which are roughly about $20,000 USD, um, would get their own like exclusive set within the game, which would be the banana set. Well, basically, a crew did this, a sloop. So two people in the world have this banana set. Obviously, the rare set within the game. It is a one-of-one one and a very solid number one spot. And with that, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments. Do you guys own any of these? Do you wish you had any of these? And also, leave a skull emoji if you guys watch this video all the way through. It honestly does mean the world, and it helps out the channel a lot. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, guys. Peace.